mobster gunned down in a television station parking lot in Bruceville. Eddie says he's ready to go on the road to recovery. That's after the attack last week. Patrick Crawford hopes to be home for Christmas. KXAN's Phil Prazen has more from Baylor Scott and White Hospital. Family wheeled Patrick Crawford up to the podium for his first public words after a gunman tried to take his life. Uh, things are improving. I'm slowly getting better. Um, it's, it's been a long process, a lot of pain, but uh, the, the doctors here, the nurses here have done a very good job of making sure that I'm feeling very comfortable. He still has a lot of questions about that day when someone shot him several times in the abdomen, bullets grazing his shoulder and his head. He says he did not recognize the shooter. The man that shot me didn't say any words to me. There was no interaction whatsoever. It was, he just started shooting at me as I was leaving the parking lot. Several surgeries later, doctors say he's making progress. Crawford's main goal is recovery. My main focus is just to continue to get better, to get healthy, and to get home for me and my family. Police continue to search for the suspect. Crawford will leave the hospital for home in the next few days. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Crawford said today he appreciates all the well wishes, especially over social media. But he and the doctors at Scott and White asked for people to respect his and his family's privacy. Police near Waco have increased the reward for information about the suspect. DPS troopers releasing this sketch of the man last week. The reward for information leading to an arrest rose from five to ten thousand dollars thanks to an anonymous donation. And this afternoon, KCEN announced that the station donated ten thousand dollars. That raises the total award amount to twenty thousand dollars.